God bless you, baby. God bless you. God bless you. And thank you for once again joining our broadcast. Today's message is the wealth covenant taught by our master teacher, Jeremiah Cummings. God bless all of you. Normally, beloved family, I'm not on on Sundays. But you know, we just come back from Nashville, Tennessee. And they did such an awesome job, a five-star job, uh, picking us up from the airport in brand new Cadillac Escalades with a chauffeur. You know, um, beautiful green rooms and just treated with all royalty. And you are royalty. The Bible says that we are a royal priesthood, chosen anointed, protected, and loved by our Father, God. I want to say thank you to Ambassador Zelma up in Canada. I just informed her about five minutes ago that I, that I would come on for a few minutes and thank all of you for all of your blessings and, and all of your support and sponsors. We have some sponsors who uh, are helping us in advertisement and TBN is helping us with advertisement and I thank you. I have in front of me greeting, season greeting cards and I'm going to tell you, God gave us the idea to, put, to mail them out, to send out these season greeting cards to you and it's, it's a prophetic card because it has scripture from the prophets in it and on it and it's flourishing 2022 this is what the card says I want to mail it out to you especially those of you who ordered the book from gold to glory uh, only on our website now we are opening up our website on shabbatglobalministries.com and I've been posting it as of since we came back Thursday uh, ShabbatGlobalMinistries.com You can go there Now you can order the book from there Or you can order the book from, from GoldToGlory.com And we're going to send you This prophetic card And I want you to put it on your refrigerator I want you to put it over your uh, Mirror in the bathroom You know uh, I'm telling you it, it, Let me tell you what it says It says flourishing in unlimited blessings 2022 I will bless you with a future filled with expectation a future of flourishing success God look God gave he always give us a word before the new year comes in and this is a prophetic word that God has given to us I want to mail it out to you or send it with your book from gold to glory Oh yeah, we just got a, a new shipment in because they bought up all the other ones that we had, the hardcover. And um, I want to make sure that you get the card with it. And I'm sending you my new CD uh, called From Then to Now. Um, got me singing again, okay? So the card says, I will bless you. And this is taken from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 29 and verse number 11. It's scriptural. I will bless you with a future filled with expectation. A future of flourishing success. Not of suffering nor struggle. God said, I'm getting ready to bless you. And I call this the wealth covenant. God gave me a word this morning. I was just sitting here writing. And God said, tell him about the wealth covenant. In, Je in Jeremiah 29 and verse number 11. Tell him about the wealth covenant. And then send you the card. We're going to mail you the card. If you order from Gold to Glory, the hard copy, we're going to put the card in there. And I want you to take the card. You know, take the card and put it on your refrigerator. Put it on your mirror in the bathroom. Put it in your purse, your pocketbook. Put it in your Bible. And watch what happens. Good God Almighty. I am so excited about what God is doing. Pretty soon, 
you'll be able to see us in over 300 million homes around the world on TBN. This interview is profound. God bless all of you. The Wealth Covenant. I want us to take a look just for a few minutes. You know, because we are the descendants of Abraham. You know, uh, the Bible said, if you belong to Christ, then you are Abraham's descendants. And you are heirs. Not only heirs of God, but you are heirs according to the covenant that God made. And he made a covenant of wealth, of health, of success. My God, my God. And you and I are under a wealth covenant. I don't care what nobody says. You know, uh, li listen to uh, the prophet David in the book of Psalms 112 and verse number 13. I'm looking at it in the Amplified Translation. Psalms 112, verse um, 1 through 3. Let's look at it like that. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He, he starts out with, Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Blessed, prosperous, and favored by God is the man who fears the Lord. That word fear in Hebrew means he loves, um, he obeys, and he trusts God. That's when you fear God. You love him, you know, you trust him, and you obey him. And it says, favored by God is the man who fears the Lord with all inspired reverence and worship him with obedience. You got to be obedient. Who delights greatly in his word or in his commands, you know, uh, in his covenant. Amen. We uh, delight. I just why I cut, that's why I had to come on. I wasn't going to come on. I said, well, look. On Thanksgiving Day, y'all going to be eating. You know, y'all going to be eating turkey and, and dressing and, and cake and, and pies. And, you know, y'all, at 7 o'clock, if I came on Thursday, all y'all be asleep. So I'm coming on today, and we all going to go to sleep Thursday at 7 o'clock. Amen, 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 amen. So listen, but I want you to listen to this this covenant of wealth. And people talking about, you know, Jesus didn't preach about money. and No, no, he blessed us. Amen. He blessed us. He said, when you pray, believe that you have received already. He didn't tell you what. <laughs> he, whatever it is that you believe in God for. He said, believe that you have received already and you shall have it. We got to get into the, into the habit of, of knowing that we can decree things and it'll be established according to Job 22 and 28. Well, every day I, I decree I am healthy. Every day I decree I am healed. Every day I decree I am wealthy. Every day I decree I'm happy. Amen. And I, and every day I, I, look, I decree I have 300 billion angels. Say it again. I said, I have 300 billion angels who protect me, who promote me, who help guide me. Amen. He has given his angels charge over you. He never said how many. Amen. So I pick a number and I believe that I'm surrounded by a, a, an angelic host, including Mikael, the warrior including Gabriel, the inspire. Amen and amen. Uh, look, look, you got to get bold with this thing, beloved. You have a wealth covenant and don't let nobody tell you that you don't have a wealth covenant. If you are Abraham's descendants, and we are, I'm going to share a scripture with you in just a moment, showing you what we own. Amen. Now, we can't act like we own something if we never been told. Amen. I'm going to tell you what the Word of God says we own. Amen. It's, let me go back. So, write it down. Psalms 112, verse 1, 1 through 3. Praise you the Lord. Hallelujah. 
blessed, prosperous, well favored by God is the man who loves, trusts, and obey him in awe-inspired reference and worship him with obedience, who greatly delight in his commandments. Listen, verse 3. Listen to verse 3. Wealth and riches are in his house. He calls those things that be not as though they are. He said, wealth and riches are in his house. If you love him, if you trust him, if you delight greatly in his word daily, wealth and riches will find you. They are in your house, he said. Wealth and riches are in his house, and his righteousness endures forever. The righteousness of God becomes the righteousness of those who love him. That's his character. That's his kabod. That's his glory. My God, my God, we have. You need to say it after me. I have a wealth covenant. Now, look in Romans chapter number 4 and verse number 13 in the Living Translation and let me show you something here. Let me show you what we have. In Romans chapter number 4, verse number 13 in the Living Translation, clearly God's promise to give the whole earth to Abraham and his descendants was based not only on, on, was not based on obedience to God's ceremonial law. I had to make that clear. Amen. We're not under no ceremonial law. You know, we don't need two doves and a sheep and we don't need to do sacrifices anymore. That's, it's not just the law because the word law in the Hebrew means his instruction. Amen. But we're not under the instructions of ceremonial law. Amen. How y'all all right? You listen. Look. <laughs> but on the right relationship with God that comes by faith. We are in a right relationship with God that comes by faith. So God promised to give the whole earth to Abraham and his descendants. And according to the book of Galatians, if you belong to Christ, then you are Abraham's seed and you are heirs according to the promise. You are Abraham's descendant. We have an Abrahamic covenant and we have a covenant of wealth. The Bible says that Abraham was wealthy. He was rich in cattle, gold. Amen. That's what the Bible said. We are his descendants. We're not under a poverty covenant. Amen. We're under a wealth covenant. According to the word of God. My Lord, my Lord. The Bible, I quoted something the other day. Yeah. I quoted this in Psalms 37 and 19. In the days of famine, we will have plenty. Amen. Amen. In the day, we're in a day of famine. There's a famine in America. There's a famine in uh, all over the world. People are suffering. And because we will have plenty, that means we will give plenty. Amen. We give to the uh, hunger uh, in different countries. Amen. We have helping hands restoration. I was just talking to Ambassador uh, Thomas last night, and, and they're down there in Grenada, Mississippi now. They opened up another location, and they're passing out food, and they're passing out clothing. She said, we gave away so much clothes, next thing they knew, another truck pulled up with more clothes. Amen. So we're providing. Amen. The more we have, the more we can give. Can I get amen, y'all? Amen. We don't want it just for ourselves. We want it so that we can help somebody who is in need. Amen. That is the reason why God says 
you have a wealth covenant. It's not for you to brag about how much money you got in a grant or how much money you got, um, 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 however you got it. It's not for us to brag about what we have. It's for us to take what we have and share it with those who have not. Amen and amen. He says, in the days of famine, we will have plenty and be satisfied and flourish. And then the book of Psalms that I read to you earlier, it said wealth and riches will be in our house. Good God Almighty. Amen and amen. So I'm excited about what God is getting ready to do. I'm excited about this ministry. Amen. If you haven't been to our beautiful website, ShabbatGlobalMinistries.com, go there. Now the book is on that website. The book is on From Gold to Glory. Amazon, you know, is selling books huh, every day, daily. Target ran out. I had a sign that come to me said, Target is sold out of From Gold to Glory by Jerry Cummings. Well, that's a good thing. I talked with TBN about that. And they said, well, that's good. That means you're selling books. You know, so we thank God for all of you. I don't want to be long. I only want to be on for about 15 minutes today. You know, wish you a, a happy a holiday. Wishing you a happy Thanksgiving. You know, and I told you Thanksgiving is in the Bible. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah, it's in Colossians, the scripture that I quote all the time. Colossians chapter 1. Verse 12 and verse 13, it begins with giving thanks. Well, if you look at giving thanks, you turn it around to thanksgiving. Amen. Giving thanks unto the Father, who has made us able to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light, who has delivered us from the power of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom of Christ our Messiah. You and I are kings and queens in the kingdom of God. And we have a wealth covenant because we are the heirs of God. We are the children of God. Amen, amen. And if we are his children, then we are his heirs also. Heirs of God and fellow heirs with Christ, sharing his spiritual blessing and inheritance. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm looking forward to seeing you, maybe on next Sunday. And maybe we'll be with you a little bit longer, maybe at least 30 minutes on next Sunday. Amen. But I want to send you, I want to send you this wonderful car of 2022. 2022. Flourishing in unlimited blessings. Amen. You got to believe it. I am flourishing in unlimited blessings. From the book of Jeremiah 29 and 11. I will bless you with a future filled with expectations. A future of flourishing success. Not of suffering, not of struggle. Hallelujah. Somebody say, the struggle is over. I'm about to flourish. Father, we give you glory. We give you all the honor and we give you all the praise. In the matchless, adorable, and powerful name of Yahshua HaMashiach, Jesus, we thank you. And we give you praise. I want to thank all of you, our ambassadors. You know, the Madisons who came over to um, Hendersonville, Tennessee, to visit with us while we were in Nashville on last Wednesday. I want to thank Ambassador Zelma, Ambassador uh, Joe Thomas, and Steve Thomas, also Brenda Stacer out there, my daughter Michelle who will be here on tomorrow to visit. She can ready to turn 51 years old, beloved. And so we thank God. Have a great time. Don't overeat. 
Because if you overeat, you're going to oversleep. And stay in touch. Go to Shabbat Global Ministry. Amen. Sow a seed of faith. Amen and amen. Amen. At our website, ShabbatGlobalMinistry.com. Order the book there. Amen. From gold to glory. Amen. And we will send you out this card. Put it on your mirror. Put it on. Put it in your Bible. Amen. Amen. Put it on your refrigerator. Look at it. Read it. And watch what happens. God is about to supernaturally do something in your life that is going to blow your mind. In Jesus' holy name, we thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Gloria. You are such a blessing. Thank you, all of you. Have a wonderful week and happy Thanksgiving. We'll see you on next Sunday. God bless you.